Joining by, by phone right now is Boca Raton Mayor Susan Haney. Susan Mayor, thank you for joining us. What are you telling the people in your city right now? Well, I'm so proud of our residents. Everyone's taking this storm very seriously. And those uh, on the barrier island and in low-lying areas have evacuated. But uh, many of our residents are, um, you know, sheltering in place and uh, uh, preparing their homes and their family and uh, ready, ready for the storm. What, what have you done as a city to prepare? Well, we, um, our first responders have been uh, planning for uh, events like this um, for many years. Uh, we had a dress rehearsal last year with Hurricane Matthew, but um, our systems are go. Our, um, all our infrastructure is in um, excellent uh, condition. All of our storm drains have been cleaned out, and um, our utility services are prepared um, to uh, endure this storm and continue to provide um, water and sewer services. I, I know it's a totally different kind of storm, but as you look over at what happened in Houston, it has to give you pause. Is there anything that you're doing differently as a result? And again, I know it's a totally different type of storm, but to see the level of destruction that was there and how much people there suffered, is there anything you're doing differently? Well, I, I believe that what's happened, uh, especially um, in Houston, has really caused a much higher level of anxiety for everyone here in South Florida. Uh, this storm, Irma, though, is um, more of a wind event, I believe. It's going to be wind and surge, uh, not as much as a rain event. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the fact that it is so massive and so strong and it's going to impact Monroe County, Miami-Dade County, Broward and Palm Beach counties just, just here in southeast Florida. Uh, we, um, you know, we take it seriously and uh, we are as prepared as we can be for a storm of this magnitude. Do you feel like in some ways people are taking it more seriously because they did see how much the people of Houston suffered and that when you tell people to get out that perhaps they're heeding the warning a little bit more than they would have otherwise? Yeah, no, I believe that um, uh, absolutely, uh, and you can see it reflected in the uh, traffic congestion of everyone trying to um, evacuate north. Uh, you know, people really took this seriously, and it is. It's a very serious storm, and uh, and we're thankful that our residents certainly have paid attention and and, um, and prepared, and uh, those who wish to evacuate did to get out early. Is there anything you still need, anything that you wish you had more time to do, any resources you don't have? No, I will say that um, Governor Rick Scott and uh, the Trump administration have been reaching out to all of the municipalities offering, you know, help, post-storm help, pre-storm help. And uh, we, um, we feel certainly supported by, um, you know, all levels of government so that we can keep our residents safe. Well, Mayor, we will be watching and we will be praying for all of you and you're all in our thoughts. And, um, you know, we hope that this passes as painlessly as possible. Thank you. Mm -hmm.